All right, so we're gonna start with our cardio. So we'll be on the treadmill in between 10 and 15 minutes. We'll do various techniques of increasing the intensity, but we wanna increase our heart rate over time. We wanna be sweating. And once we're finished cardio, we can go ahead and continue with the following exercises. It's just gonna be a series of exercises with the flat band, the two bands, and with the loop bands. So we can start with the flat band and we're just gonna be doing simple shoulder manipulations, all right? We won't come up with anything too special in terms of the names, but we're just gonna be manipulating the shoulder at different angles. We want to expand the diaphragm while we're breathing with our arms at different angles. We are expanding the rib cage, the thoracic area. We're improving our ability to breathe. We need to, to activate those neuromuscular junctions that uh, allow, allow us to breathe more efficiently because we have to consume a lot of oxygen when we breathe. And if we smoke or if we do other things that obstruct our breathing, those postural muscles tend to become weak. And because we fall out of touch with our breathing, we end up with weak postural muscles and this is where our backs start to slouch our breathing becomes more difficult and uh, that makes for the onload and offload of oxygen and carbon dioxide much more difficult and we have to expend more energy and so we get tired more easily we're becoming less efficient with our oxygen all right so basically we're just creating a loop with that flat band we can change the angle up of the shoulder we're eventually going to be doing a tricep extension you notice the slight extension there we'll do that later on but we can just do simple shoulder abducted and adducted uh, internal rotations just like so and then we can switch arms shake it out for a bit we want to lift up and elevate right so we elevate the scapula we elevate the, the thoracic area and we expand it. So we're making it easier to breathe. We're, we're, we're waking up the neuromuscular junctions of the, those muscles that we use to breathe. All right, and then we can keep our feet shoulder width apart and we're just gonna do a simple torso twist and pocket touch. So we're just gonna go to our full range of motion, make sure we're breathing in and out and we're just gonna twist do about 20 total we're gonna be doing two sets of each so you'll do one exercise after the other and then after the other and then you'll repeat one more time all right so now we pick up our tube bands and I've got the black and green resistance type Usually this is pretty heavy for me. And we're gonna be performing the diagonal shoulder pull. Right, so again, we're gonna be doing a shoulder exercise, manipulating the deltoids, the trapezius muscles, all the muscles above the shoulder. Retraction of the rhomboids or the scapula, so the, the postural muscles in the thoracic area in the back. We're going to be activating those. And we're breathing out as we pull back into reset. And then we'll switch up and we want to make sure that we have the same amount of resistance. We're just activating those basic muscle groups. We want to make sure that we are keeping our shoulders in good standing least stable joint in the body and we want to make sure we protect ourselves and in doing so again we're activating a lot of thoracic muscles and you know this is going to be related to our balance and our core strength and those are foundational principles all right and then we can move into some balance all right so we've gotten some blood flowing into the abdominal area now we want to make sure that we're focusing on breathing. We want to make sure we maintain our balance even in the diagonal reps. Nice and controlled. And we're 
we're gonna do four full rotations. Nice and easy, we wanna maintain our balance. And apparently I'm a magician, I get to make people disappear in the video, so Hollywood tricks indeed. Alright, so we finish up. I'll go back in the other direction for the final rotation. Maintain our balance. Stay squared up even when we go diagonal like so. And we finish strong. All right, from here we're gonna grab our loop band and it's simple tricep extension. We're not doing anything too crazy today. We're doing cardio and we're doing some extension. We're doing some torso twists, basic stuff. We need to keep our neurons activated. Blood's flowing. All right, this is another way to do it. So we did it on the, the transverse plane and this one's gonna be on the sagittal plane and we're pulling straight up into the air it's just from a different angle of the shoulder if we're able to do that we have good range of motion then we should be trying to do that All right and i'll go ahead here and switch arms and demonstrate if we were to really want to test our tricep strength out we would do like a push-up and we would move our hands closer together and that would help us isolate the triceps for a tricep extension during the pull-up, or I'm sorry, the push-up rather. All right, I'm just gonna show from behind here the alternative way of switching angles and finishing up those tricep extensions with the loop band. We can also use a flat band if we need to as well. All right, so here we're gonna be anchoring the two bands. We have one handle on each side of the band. All right, we're just going to be, all right, we'll shuffle our feet just to ensure that we have the proper distance to start with. I'll camp my body inwards towards where the bands are anchored and it gives me more range of motion with my twist. Now notice I'm taking my nose with the hands with the chest. All right, I'm gonna keep the pelvic area as squared away as I can while twisting the upper torso. And those muscles I'm touching, we're engaging all of those in that area. This is, these are your core strength muscles, all right? We're targeting those neuromuscular junctions and we're keeping those things alive. That way, when we find ourselves moving through life, we're more able and willing and confident that we can get up and and get after whatever task it is that we have at hand. All right, and then just switching sides, or switching directions rather. Just now twisting to the left, taking our nose or our face with the chest, with the arms. And then we're gonna finish up with the hip manipulation. All right, so some hip abduction, knee flexion, knee extension. Also a hip flexion as well. We'll get into the hip extension shortly. So here's some hip flexion and extension. We wanna maintain our balance. Remember, it's not just about the leg that's moving, it's about the leg that's being anchored because we're adjusting our body weight. And so our body now has to try to maintain its balance in that way. So as we shift our body weight out and upwards, our center of gravity changes and our body, our core is forced to adapt. So we're breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing out, breathing out, breathing out. And we're focusing on counting and maintaining our balance. You can pick up a five pound dumbbell or a 10 pound dumbbell, whatever the case. I like to hold dumbbells in the hands uh, in this situation, especially if I'm if I'm tired, 
I love doing this exercise when I'm tired because it forces me to really focus hard. So we're just gonna finish with those hip flexors. And that is it. So we redo the second set. So that was set one, do those again, one more set, and then cardio for 15 minutes. And we are set for the rest of the day. So we will have included some resistance training some muscular strength and muscular endurance as well as cardiovascular endurance excellent job